Hey, welcome back. Van here. In this video, we're going to be putting this Ryobi tiller together, this little cultivator. We're going to be putting it together and using it to get ready to put some monkey grass in the ground. Hello there. I'm Ben with Who's Your Back Outdoors, and you're watching Van's World. Now, myself, personally, I've always used gas tillers, gas cultivators, but I've been curious about electric because, for one thing, you don't have to worry about the carburetor. And another thing, I've had a lot of people tell me that they like there. I've never seen any videos about Ryobi online, so that's what made me choose Ryobi to do this video. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about saving people time and money with my how-tos and product reviews. Let's give this thing a, a whirl. Let's put it together and try it out and see how she does. It's 8.5 amp, 10 inch tiller. Let's put this thing together. Some really nice rubber on these wheels. Wow, that's nice right there. Washroom. There. These caps. You just line them up in that little thing. Those little line up right there. Just pop them in. Like that. If you notice on these bolts, they got notches right here. And those notches line up with the notches on this side of the handle. Put your wing nut in. See it's notched out right there. Got to put that on. Well, it's all right. This right here holds your extension cord. Next you want to put these clips on. Put that on there. Put your wire in it. And then just snap it on. Like that. Same thing right here. You just put that on your cord. And just snap it over. This thing's got a really good feel about it. You know? Then to adjust these wheels. You got a little pull. This thing doesn't weigh hard anything. You just pull this right here out. You can adjust your wheels for the depth that you want to dig. So just real quick, this is the area back here we're going to be tilling up along this edge right here. I've got my saws all out because there's a lot of tree roots and bush roots over here. Not really sure how this is going to go with that. But let's give this tiller a shot. Give her a what fur? Now to turn this tiller on, you want to pull, push this button in right here and pull up on this handle. See that? Without it, nothing happens. And it's not plugged in right now. But this is a safety feature. You push in on this button, you pull up. Here it click. It doesn't click without it. Let's do it. Another thing with this tiller is this right here. This holds your extension cord. And what that does is it keeps it from coming unplugged. So you want to go ahead and plug this in right here. Oh, pop that out. There we go. Plug your extension cord in. Now you want to take and curl it up like this and feed it through and then latch it inside that and then pull and that locks your extension cord in so that it won't uh, come unplugged. But to run this thing, you want this extension cord over your shoulder. And I learned that from when I was a kid, cutting grass with an electric uh, lawnmower, that you want that over your shoulder so that you can keep it behind you.
right here. There's a huge root on what's cut out with a sawzall. Hey, look, I'm not going to film all this because all these roots and everything that I'm running into, but I'm definitely going to tell you my opinion of it here in a minute. It took me about probably 10 minutes to do the whole length right there. Cut out some roots. This thing ate up all kinds of roots in here from these bushes. I mean, some pretty good sized roots too, but not near as big as these. Plus, also, you've seen where it's beating up that uh, masonry brick. So, what I want to do now is go back through this and show you how good it tilted up. So here's my final thought about this Ryobi tiller. Man, this is the best money I've spent. Look, I don't have to worry about carburetors. I don't have to worry about nothing but plugging this thing up and go plug and play, baby. I got it at Home Depot for a little over 100 bucks, like 109, 109 dollars, something like that. But you, if you don't want to go to Home Depot, you can find one of these on Amazon, just like it, but it might be Earthwise or a Sun Joe. But they're all the same. They're built the same, just got a different cover on the top of it. I don't know what more to say about it, but money well spent. So if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget, my channel is all about saving people time and money with my how-tos and product reviews. And I give this one 10 out of 10. That is a perfect item so far. It didn't make no bad noises. It cut through roots. It chewed up rocks. Man, I'm excited. I've got a lot more work to do. Y'all, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. You have a good one now, and you come back. You. Yeah.